Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday, November 24th, 2017. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed some turkey and football and spending that quality time with family because that's very, very important. Um, as you can see, it's a very clear sky today. It's beautiful out and uh, it's really, really nice. If I look a little bit tired today, I'm going to tell you why I'm a little bit tired today. Uh, it is a little after 2 in the afternoon right now. I actually ended up working last night, and I actually went in early last night because they asked me to come in early. So I did do that. And uh, then this morning, I came home and I laid down for an hour, and I had to take a ride down to Rochester uh, to a buddy's house because I had to do my brakes. My brakes have been, they started squeaking two weeks ago. And so I bought uh, rotors and brakes. And so um, he's got all the tools and stuff like that for that. So uh, I went down to his place and we changed the brakes and the rotors. Now, luckily, when we pulled the front tires off, the front brakes and uh, rotors were fine. So that was good. And uh, but the rear brakes and the rear rotors were bad so we changed those out and so that's what i was working on today so i have been i've gotten an hour of sleep so i've been up almost like i said almost 24 hours but that's okay it happens um so actually it's kind of one of the things i wanted to talk about today and uh you know so anyway so i ended up taking the um other rotors and brakes back to the place that i bought them and they gave me the credit back for them, so that was really nice. So it was it was a pleasant surprise that I didn't have to spend as much as I needed to. And uh, for my buddy, I picked him up uh, a bottle of rum because he likes rum. And uh, so I picked up the big one for him. It's like 28 bucks for, and I figure, hey, for him helping me out like that, it would have cost me a fortune to have it done at a shop. And so it was really really nice to have that done and taken care of and. You know, we did it together. He did, I did the grunt work. He did the hard part of it. So, because he knows that stuff, I don't. You know, I'm not mechanically inclined, as you guys, anybody that's watched my channel knows. So, one of the things I want to talk about with that, after an SHTF event, and you have vehicles or whatever you have, and let's say it's not an EMP, and even if it was an EMP and you have older vehicles, uh, they break down. And you're going to have problems, and uh, you know what are you going to be able to do to fix those? I mean, what do you have back? What knowledge do you have to be able to swap stuff out? And uh, so, having somebody that's mechanically inclined, as far as an auto mechanic type of situation, um, that can work on older cars, and to do those type of things, that's going to be really, really important to have. So, there's something I want you guys to think about. It was something that was. I was thinking about, I was driving back and I was talking to a buddy of mine uh, that's in South Carolina and uh, we were going back and forth and so we were talking about, you know, the importance of having somebody that knows how to work on cars and fix brakes and, and you know, do the mechanical stuff that needs to be fixed and, uh, you know, if you don't have that knowledge, which I don't, I, I mean, like I said, I, I don't even pretend to know and I don't. So you know having somebody that can do those type of things that's going to be really really important to have in your group to keep those type of things going that can work on the generators and uh you know keep them going you know and uh you know so i had recently and i had told you guys i had an older generator that i didn't even use i don't use it at all and it was a 5500 watt generator which is actually was too big for my needs and it was just sucking up so much gas to use it, I didn't use it at all. So I still have two generators. So I had traded that one, that generator away for wood. And so that, to me, was a fair trade. I still have two generators. So I have my main generator and I have a backup generator. So I'm not concerned as far as that part of it goes because I have that backup, you know, um, as far as that goes. So it's not like I'm, like, down to one generator. So that's not, you know... That's, I, I do have a backup generator as well. But uh, anyway, um, like I said, I hope everybody had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, I know that Europeans, you guys don't really celebrate it. And I know, 
like my Canadian friends, you guys up there, you guys did it in October. So, but here, here's something else I wanted to talk about, and this was guy, I, I was kind of, it was amazing. I was on my way into work last night, and I had to pass one of the WalMarts, and it was about quarter to eight, and this Walmart was absolutely jammed, huge parking lot, completely full. Okay. So we're going to talk about the programming of people a little bit, you know, and how how things are you're been taught and designed that on these particular dates this is what you have to do. So it was, you know, everything has always been Black Friday. And now they've moved it up even to the Thursday where they do it like right after Thanksgiving dinner, and they open up and they have these sales. So they even started earlier. And obviously today being Black Friday, you know, everybody's going out and they're buying all this stuff, and you know. A lot of it is unnecessary stuff that they're buying. And we have been programmed that on certain events and certain dates that we're, we're supposed to act a certain way or buy something. And I'm going to give you a great example. When I was with my ex-wife, I always told her, I said, do not ever expect me to get you flowers on Valentine's Day. Because it's a day that somebody put down that you have to do this for your loved one. I'm like, absolutely not. I said, and I used to get her flowers all the time. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I would surprise her with flowers all the time. But I would get her flowers when she didn't expect to get flowers. Not because on February 14th they've dictated that this is the day that you got to show your love for your loved one. That was crap. Because then they jacked the prices of the roses up to astronomical, um, you know, prices and you know it, it cost you a freaking fortune and you got to go buy candy and you got to buy the card and and if you don't or you buy jewelry or whatever you're going to buy if you don't then you don't love this person well that, that's garbage okay showing your love for somebody and doing it on a day when they don't expect it that means more than it does on a day that they've designated that this is the day you're supposed to do this i'm a big believer in I would rather surprise somebody and show them that I love them. And, and actually, I was very lucky back in the day because I killed two birds with one stone. Because I'll tell you, this is funny. Um, what I would do is I'd bring the flowers home, and I would tell my daughter. Um, and Heather was probably four or five years old, and I would say, Heather, Daddy brought you flowers. And she'd be like, oh, my God, Daddy, they're beautiful. I love them and stuff like that. When my wife knew that they were actually for her. So I made two people happy by getting the flowers which that was always that was always fun that was always a good time um and it's a nice fond memory that i have of that so that that was pretty awesome but uh but anyway you know like people are like zombies going out like on a today like black friday everybody's out and they got to get the big shopping in i have never ever once gone out on a black friday i was like i am not going to be caught up in the middle of that lunacy and people acting like idiots and and fighting over stuff and no way I don't need anything that bad I really truly don't and so that's uh you know that's the thing that you want to you know like I said it's we've just been programmed that okay like Christmas is coming up I mean they they hammer Christmas before Thanksgiving started now the Thanksgiving's done we're gonna have four straight weeks of being just hammered with Christmas 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 and you know you have to do this and you have to do that and it's just like it's nuts. It's nuts. And then people get themselves in huge debt and they end up paying the first six months of next year paying off all this Christmas debt if they do it at all. And it's just, that's insane. Um, you know, that's absolutely insane. But, uh, and I do Christmas for my kids. I mean, I'm going to say that, but they're at the age now where they want money. So I give them money. It's just, it's easier that way. But, um, you know, Christmas is about kids. It's not about everybody else getting a present and this one and that one and the other one getting a present. I do it for the kids and that's it, you know, so. But um, anyway, oh, I did want to say the Black Friday, the, today's the day um, with Legacy Foods that you can go ahead and you can get that bucket now. Uh, the $175 bucket for $99. It's uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's 60 meals. And uh, that's the sale they're doing now. Plus, also, anything else that you wanted to get from Legacy, um, it's a 25% discount. And I'm going to have the link down below in uh, the description. So you can click on my link. Go there if you're interested. And if you want to get that stuff, it's a really good time, like I said, to stock up on your long-term food storage, okay? 
uh, and um, so um, and Jan the RN um, I got your email I'm gonna call legacy back and I'm gonna have them resend you that coupon I don't know why there was not an, it was an issue with that but I'm gonna be calling them back so that you get that coupon okay so just so you know um, if you're watching the video and uh, Anyway, guys, so that's that was my exciting day. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get this video uploaded. And then I'm going to go to sleep because I am freaking shot. So um, I hope everybody is having a good weekend. Um, you know, I know it's only Friday, but, you know, it's like the extended weekend because most people were off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? And hopefully I'll be more clear-headed at that point. But... Uh, I definitely want your feedback on the video. Tell me what your thoughts are, especially how, like I said, we're being programmed, um, you know, by um, the cat. I got a, a shadow. Miss Soxie's over here. And there's a shadow on the lens, and she's chasing that around, which is pretty funny. So that's what I'm kind of doing right now. But anyway, so uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. You know, whatever you're trying to do, whatever goals you're trying to reach, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from doing that is yourself. Okay? So anyway, listen, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now. What are you doing, Sax? Where'd the light go?